is too close when it comes to oil and gas drilling. The debate is playing out right now in Erie's Vista Ridge neighborhood. Crestone Peak Resources plans to wind down its operation by the end of 2017, but natural gas will flow from the sites for years to come. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski is live in Erie off Crestview Lane. And Jen, you've been talking to neighbors about these gas pipelines. Yeah, Ann and Molly, right now we're in front of the Pratt fracking site. That's what you see behind me. It's less than a thousand feet from homes. Then there's this green natural gas pipeline that's being installed even closer. None of this is against state law, but after what happened in Firestone, neighbors say this pipeline is too close for comfort. In Erie's Vista Ridge neighborhood, fracking has become a way of life. We in this neighborhood, we are fracked but not in a good way for homeowners like Christiane Van Woodenberg. We're done. We've lost the battle against fracking in our small community. He took this drone footage a week ago, and while fracking operations are winding down here to transport natural gas, this green natural gas pipeline crews are installing is now the long-term concern. It's too close to home. It's you can see from this map how close it is, and right next to this bike path where Lori Thomas walks her dogs. For us as residents walking by, um, we won't ever know that there's a leak. That's because the gas flowing through this pipeline is non-odorous, so you can't smell it like you would if there was a natural gas leak in your house. What happens if it explodes like in Firestone and hurts or kills somebody? This deadly home explosion in Firestone was caused by an abandoned Anadarko gas line that had been leaking non-odorous gas into the family's home for months. While the likelihood of an event like that is low, um, it's not zero. Anadarko also operates this pipeline in Erie. In a statement, a spokesperson said they will periodically run a probe through the steel line to detect any issues. Anadarko also says it will use aerial technology to detect methane leaks, but that's little comfort for Van Woodenberg. I don't think there's a safe, not at this distance to homes. Now we asked how close or how long is periodically. Anadarko says it plans to run those tests about once a month. They also say that this is being installed near an existing utility corridor and they will pay for methane detectors for anyone who's concerned who lives within a half a mile. Reporting live in Erie tonight, Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7.